Salvete de Scipuli. This is help for your first year Henley Latin studies, exercise 54. Um, right before we get into exercise 54 in our reading, we have collected some more vocabulary words. So I wanted to point this out to you. All of the vocabulary words that are listed here are third declension nouns in the neuter form. And that being either by the Lanquette rule, uh, if it ends with L-A-N-C-E or T in the nominative singular case, it is a neuter noun. Um, and then there are three here that don't fit that description, the Lanquette rule, but they are um, explicitly uh, exceptions and they're listed here as being neuter nouns right in the vocabulary list. So um, all of them in this list are neuter. So we're going to decline all of these new nouns according to rule 64 in the grammar book for neuter nouns of the third declension. Um, taking a look here, we see that whatever the nominative singular case is, the accusative singular case will match. And the same uh, for the plural, the nominative and accusative cases both match with the ending a. Uh. So it's uh, otherwise everything else is similar to masculine and feminine nouns of the third declension uh, with is, e, and a, and down in the plural, um, ibus, and ibus. But the nominative and accusative case in both singular and then in, in plural, those endings will match. Okay, when we decline that noun. Okay, so looking at exercise 54, it says, tell what forms these are and translate. So we're just gonna take that word from number one, flumina, and right up above it, I'm going to jot some notes here that it is, it could be nominative or accusative according to Rule 64 in my grammar book. Um, it is neuter, we know that. And it is, because it's down here, it is plural. All right, so we have gender, number, and case. And that would be translated the rivers. Okay, a plural subject or direct object noun. All right, let's look at number two. In itinere. Okay, our word for iter itineris, journey, march, or route. Okay, in is a preposition that can be translated as in or on. So we have itinere, that A ending is a an ablative singular ablative ending and that makes sense because the preposition in takes the ablative case uh, so this is going to be ablative and it's neuter and it's singular and that would be translated let's say just pick a word here on the journey on the route, on the march. Okay, let's do one more. Three, we have propter nomen. Another preposition, propter meaning on account of, and then nomen is a noun from our new vocabulary list. Nomen, nominus, name, okay? Propter is a preposition and it takes the accusative, all right? So nomen looks exactly like this, right? And here we see it's listed as the nominative singular, but we know that it takes the accusative. This is affirmed when we look at our chart because the nominative and accusative are going to be in the same form for singular. So 
this would be an accusative neuter. I want to do a comma there. And singular. So that's translated on account of the name. All right, I hope this is helpful for you and you have a good time doing exercise 54. Have a great day.